Again, obligatory Halloween clothes. Hey! I started my last review the same, but um, let's do this. So this is my second review for Halloween, Halloween themed review. I said in my last one, but I'm going to repeat myself a few times in case you've seen this one first. Um, what a better way to celebrate Halloween than doing a couple of spooky Black Phoenix perfume reviews. This one is Monster Bait, Bloody Mary. Um, it's a limited edition, so I think it's pretty hard to find, but we're just doing it for the theme and the fun. You might be able to find it if you're a diehard Black Phoenix fan. So, um, it came out in 2010, I believe, and most of the um, Monster Bait, if not all of them actually, set of fragrances they did, were gourmand. So, this is a gourmand. The bottle label art was lovely, but I can't, I haven't got a picture of it to show you, unfortunately, but it had a kind of dull looking lady on it with really hollow black eyes and blood running down her face. Scary. So yeah, for now, this is Bloody Mary. So the, the description on the Black Phoenix website says, uh, why waste time chanting her name in the mirror 13 times? I thought it was three times. Or is that Candyman? I'm not up to my, I'm not up to scratch with my horror stuff. I don't know my horror stuff, do I? I thought it was three times. Anyway, it says blah 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 blah. Uh, bedevil your next slumber party the easy way. And then the notes are chunky, glistening red fruits with a sweet cream accord. Yummy. Black clotted cherry and powdered sugar. Sounds like something you want to eat. And I've said this a million times before when Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab do a gourmand, they really do a gourmand. They do it. It's not just got a few gourmand notes going on, it really is stuff that you feel like you want to just lick your hand. And I've done that before, shamed to say. Um, so yeah, yum, it's been drying on this hand, so let's put it here. So, Bloody Mary. I've got a few other ones of these, and I've reviewed a few other Monster Bait ones, or one other Monster Bait one. Oh, I don't want to... Okay, so what does it smell like? Ooh! So, um, the first thing I say, the one thing I don't like about this is uh, the powdered sugar in this smells very much to me like a lot of the other Black Phoenix fragrances that have sugar in them, or the gourmandy side of it. It smells like burnt sugar, like caramelised sugar, and some of the fragrances they've done, it's, it's very overpowering and that's all you can smell. I can smell it in this, it's a very kind of dusky burnt brown sugar smell burnt brown sugar smell um, but you can smell the red cherry behind it it's really nice it's black cherry they say and that makes sense it's not as strong as normal this this burnt sugar you know and it does fade out after a while so that's what you get mainly first of all a powerful burnt sugar and then well I said it's not so powerful but that's the main note it is powerful at first uh, powerful burnt sugar and It smells almost like a combination of strawberry, raspberry and cherry. Uh, not so much with the cream. There is a bit of smoothness there, but it doesn't really smell... I've smelled a lot more of their fragrances that have been much more creamy when they've said that there's cream in it or clotted cream or whatever it is. So, that's first of all. Very sweet, of course, uh, and the dry down is different. The powdered sugar part of it goes away, which, which I really like, and then the cherry really comes forward. I smelled other fragrances by them again that have cherry in and the cherry's faded. This is really all about the cherry. It's like a syrupy, dark cherry. You know the cherries that come in juice, like dark syrupy juice? It's like the juice of, of the cherry basically. It's really nice, it's kind of luscious and what starts to, what, when it changes it starts to smell like there's a very dry wood in it as well so you've got this kind of in the background now, burnt sugar smell, and then a very prominent, thick, syrupy, gloopy, black cherry, and 
then a kind of woody note, which is weird. I don't know what it would be because it's not listed in the notes, but it's it's got a dry tone as well. So it's quite a nice contrast. It's not um, super, super sweet. It's very sweet, of course, but it's not sickly sweet where it's like a toothache, like some gourmands can be, where it's literally like just sugar-tastic. But yeah, if you ever smelled um, Pink Sugar by Aqualina, I've reviewed that also, go and check it out. Uh, that starts with a similar kind of note with the kind of burnt sugary smell, except that's got licorice and candy floss in it, whereas this is burnt sugar and black cherry and something woody. Really nice. Almost vanilla-y, but not. Like, a, just a subtle, very subtle, subtle vanilla in there. It really does let the uh, the cherryness of it, cherryness of it, be the star of the show, which I really like. So I love cherry scented things, anything, lip balms, iced lollies, just anything cherry is good in my eyes. So it's like a cherry dessert, like a cherry ice cream dessert with some random wood thrown in. It changes quite quickly. It changes after about 10 minutes only, the uh, sugary stuff goes and it lasts a good while, um, but as it really starts to dry, the woodiness, it gets just woodier and drier and fainter. So, I'm really glad I got to try this. Um, there's a lovely lady called Eris on the Black Phoenix forum that sent me this. She sent me a whole bunch of really hard to find Black Phoenix oil, so I'm glad I got to try it. I have enough to wear that at least four or five times because it's, it's really strong. It's yummy. Oh. So that's it. Hope you guys have a lovely Halloween, whatever you may be doing. Comment below and tell me what you're doing. What you're dressing up as. I'm dressing up as this, a t-shirt. Okay, <laughs> speak to you soon. Click my logo to subscribe. And thanks for watching as always. Goodbye.